Denmark Open is getting really close now. How was your draw for this year? It's pretty good actually. I have to play an Indian called Anand Pavar, um, whom I played quite a few times now, so we know each other pretty well. Uh, but I feel like I have the upper hand uh, in our previous meetings, so I feel like I have a good chance of beating him this time. And if you do, who are you facing in second round? It's going to be Mark Schwiebler, most likely, from Germany, who made the final last year. Uh, so he's obviously playing well in this tournament. But uh, I also know him, just like Anand Pavar, pretty well. Um, and I feel like if I can play my own, own game, I have a good chance of defeating him as well. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. Uh, are you looking forward to play Denmark Open? Yeah, it's always a gl great pleasure for the Danish players to play in front of a home crowd and with all the family and friends uh, watching the matches. So it's always a highlight of the year for the Danish players and that includes me as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. When you look back, do you have a certain best memory from Denmark Open? Yeah, it's a few years back when I played a Malaysian called Mohamed Hafiz, who at the time was one of the greatest players uh, in the world. Uh, and I had a really close match and was up in the second and had won the first, but unfortunately I couldn't wrap up, up the match. But uh, it was it was a really good match for me as I was an up-and-coming player. Um, so I still think back at that match with uh, great memories. Looking forward to see you this year. Hope you make it even through second round. Yeah, me too. Thanks.